Basically how it works is, is uh, you know, every player when they report to camp has to take an intake screening and staff member, and there's there's different tiers uh, that Major League Baseball and, and, and the, the Padres have identified different employees as either tier one, tier two, or tier three. Uh, the tier one and two individuals, uh, you know, are part of a uh, frequent screening process. Uh, the intake screen, uh, I think we've we've had we have uh, Tommy is the one positive, and we have one that's pending, um, that's still that's still going through the process. Um, and Kirby Yates is is also uh, is not in camp right now. He's tending to a family issue, not not a Corona issue. Uh, I believe he'll be back in San Diego here over the May, I think as soon as Sunday and should be in camp. He'll, he'll start that, that intake screen that everybody has to go through and uh, assuming that goes well, uh, be with us at some point, probably middle of next week. I mean, I, I think honestly, I think one thing we've learned here over the last few months is you just take it a day at a time. And I think, you know, I know that's, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you say that and there's never been a time where it's more apropos than, than over the last three months. And I think, you know, definitely proud of the organization and the group you know, haven't made any rash decisions. I think we've, you know, sat down together, um, you know, overall players, staff, <clears throat> front office, and try to make the decisions that are, that are, you know, the best possible decisions for the group. I think nothing's going to change really for us in the next month. There's no way of predicting what's going to happen, um, you know, how the season's going to unfold. I think uh, all we want to do is try to make the best decisions possible. We're going to do that with, uh, you know, both, uh, you know, from a competitive standpoint and also from a health standpoint. And, uh, you know, I think we're all hopeful and optimistic that if we do that, we're, we're going to look forward and, and bring entertainment to the city of San Diego, bring entertainment back to the country. And hopefully, uh, you know, we, we look up and, you know, uh, have a great season from, from an organization standpoint and just throughout the game of baseball. I'm, I'm an optimist, so I kind of look at it that way and, um, you know, excited about getting started and, and going from here. I think we're going to have, uh, you know, quite a few challenges. They're going to be, you know, new. I think understanding the protocols, they understand uh, – the understanding of the, the, the new normalcy, um, we've got to get used to those things. Uh, as far as, you know, ramping up, um, I've been very proud of, of our players, their ability to, you know, stay ready without a start date. Um, they've been very impressive, um, you know, over the last couple months. And now it's a, it's a matter of we got 21 days left until opening day. And uh, we got to get the guys, you know, back on the field, finding their rhythm and timing and uh, getting back into the sink of things as quickly as possible. It's a definite balance, uh, the balance between, you know, where the starting pitchers are and, and how many outings uh, do they need over these next 21 days and how many innings can we get them built up to opening day versus the challenges of, you know, some of the bullpen arms. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a break uh, the first two weeks by being able to carry four extra players, and then that windles down. And so, um, you know, being able to make sure that uh, some of our, our bullpen guys can go multiple innings. Um, and then, you know, certainly from a position player standpoint, you know, the challenges of getting them enough at bats, uh, getting them on their feet, making sure we're in shape um, without pushing them too, too hard. So, um, you know, we're, we're we're going to have a buildup. You know, we're not coming out and playing nine innings off the bat. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have a buildup. And then, you know, it's, it's communication with the coaches. It's communication with the trainers. It's certainly feedback, you know, from the players of how they're feeling. But uh, it's no secret we want to uh, move as fast as we can, as quick as we can. But we need to do that safely.